Okay, let's put some uh, the flight scene together. So let's make one more comp and uh, for every head, yeah, I already made one. Let's open it. There it is. Okay. Uh, I have some other assets I brought in here, uh, some clouds and a uh, mountain. And so we'll use those to sort of get this scene going. It's a pretty simple illustrator mountains, like so. And let's get a, a solid. And let's do a like an Arizona sky as they pass through Arizona. That's not what it's called. Let's call it gradient. There we go, gradient ramp. And yeah, this will be blue. And this will do orangish. There we go. Let's move it up. Uh, move the anchor point for this one. There we go. Maybe not that far. There we go. Move the blue down just slightly. That's not bad. Great. Uh, let's bring in a few clouds. So I have some clouds here. Uh, they're all in one thing. Uh, again, you can break stuff up here just using the mask tool. Let's just get this one. If you're not getting a mask, it means that uh, you're drawing a shape layer instead. So that's probably not going to happen here. You got to make sure this is selected when you start drawing with the pen tool and it will automatically give you a mask. There we go. Now I've got this cloud. Let's scale it up. Create a little bit of depth. So I'll move this over here and put it behind the mountains. There we go. And uh, let's get another one. I'll bring this in. Let's get this fat one here. So there we go. Again, it's a vector. So I want to scale it. Uh, anchor points wrong. That's why it's scaling weird. Always fix these. Fix the anchor points. Just makes your life much easier. And scale this up. Now it does what you think it would do. Cool. And this will be short too, like three seconds. But they should have a little bit of movement. And so I'm going to just add some linear keyframes for the position of these clouds. So there, and then over the course of five seconds, it shifts slightly that way. Or actually, let's have this one going in, and then this one going the opposite way there. Cool. That gives me a little bit of movement there. If I wanted to make a third one out there, I could. That works. Maybe make a little bit more depth with the clouds or with the mountains. I'm going to take another mountain and uh, move it down to the bottom and uh, make it a 3D layer and rotate it. So it's different from the other ones, just a 180. There we go. And uh, there we go. Uh, as things go into the distance, they get more desaturated. And so uh, let's just, tr 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 a couple different ways to do this. Let's just go to saturation on this mountain. Turn that down. Uh, in this case, saturation is not going to work. It's just going to be lightness. We also want less contrast on this one. So just image, contrast, 
We don't even need hue saturation. We can do this with just brightness, dial it down, contrast, dial it down. You know, add a little bit of blur to this one. Blur, the default blur is now Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur used to be slow, but now it's fast. Just a few. Nah, I don't like the other mountain. I'll just go with that for now. Cool. Um, let's get our butterfly going. So I've got a scene there. Uh, let's save. And uh, I'm going to come in here to uh, the wing. I'm going to make a new comp. Uh, just 500 by 500. And this will be flying butterfly. And let's bring in a wing. And let's bring in the side body. There we go. And let's zoom out a little bit. And again, these are going to be small. So uh, let's go ahead and make the wing a 3D layer again. Get the anchor point in the right place over here. There we go. And uh, now let's go ahead and rotate uh, on the Z. Oh, not that guy. This one. And let's say 